Hi guys, this is Al Maria from Worcester, Western Cape, South Africa. Welcome to everybody who is watching my channel and who's joining me here. Um, to everybody who's new, thank you for just checking me out. You're welcome to just click that little subscribe button to see more of me. Um, and thank you for everybody who has subscribed already. I have noticed I have some more subscribers, so I'm very excited about that. The more subscribers I have, the more professional I can get this YouTube channel. In the long term, I really do want to have more tutorials on here. The tutorials are just getting a bit of a hectic thing because I'm struggling to upload it at the moment. But, let's go on. Um, this channel is about yarn. My hand-dyed yarns. Um, knitting, crocheting, spinning sometimes um even uh, sometimes once in blue moon now that it's getting cooler in my shop area i will start sewing again making project bags and painting once in a while i i'm sort of taking a artist sabbatical at the moment and i'm dying yarn instead <laughs> okay so let's go and move on most important uh, there are no admin staff at the moment. I still haven't got my Ravelry group up and running. Really, I don't. And um, I also don't have my website up and running yet because they're still building on that, which is fine. Um, I'll put the link up on my um, in, in the description box as soon as that's done. In the description box, you will also find all the social network places you can find me. You will find me on Facebook as a cup of yarn, Instagram as a cup of yarn. You will also find me on Twitter, but I hardly ever use Twitter, so don't bother. If you need to contact me, the best way to do that is either message or WhatsApp. Um, my telephone number and everything that you need to WhatsApp me is on my Facebook page and my Instagram account. So, yeah, if you need to contact me about yarns or whatever, best option is actually just to WhatsApp me um, or email. That will be the two quickest ways that you will find me. You can also message me on Facebook, but I don't necessarily... Uh, I think it's quicker to just WhatsApp me. So, what do I have to show you right now? I have no... Fin oh, I have one pair of socks. I can't remember if I showed you this last time. These that I did finish. This is my February socks that I finished. I think I did put that on. can't remember. Anyway, these are my February socks. Needless to say, I have to start <clears throat> doing the March ones, which I have. That's my only FO. I have no other FOs. It's been a hectic, hectic couple of weeks. I do have a lot of whips, though. This one is on my needles. It's in my... I noticed on other face uh, on the YouTube channels they say it's sleeping in this bag. Well, it's sleeping in my little vintage bag, the one that I sewed up for myself. You see, drawstring. This is my sock, <laughs> my sock baggy. So, whenever I have one pair of socks done, uh, the next one goes in here. So this is how far I am. I'm I'm using this yarn I did put this on Facebook actually this was one of those little odd balls that um, sometimes when I'm rolling down the yarn to the to dye it so let me just fix this quickly um, to dye it then I always have like one skein that's not quite the weight that I want it say for instance 80 grams instead of 100 grams or even 95 or so then I take that ball for myself and I dye it up the way I want it. So this one is mine. This is how far the socks have come, which is actually very slow for me because I, I'm usually quicker with the socks. Anyway, I've done the heel flap. I'm very close to the toe. You can see there. There. Got the gusset and the heel. I'm still using uh, my favorite vanilla socks 
of the unapologetic knitter um, and I lost the stitch I just noticed that which is a good thing that I did notice it sorry about that guys but I just to get the stitch onto one of the needles until I can figure out where it actually belongs I think it belongs on the other side but never mind as long as it's just there <laughs> I hate working in the round and losing a stitch oh Anyway, I'm using my Addy needles, as usual, my Addy 2.5 lace tip needles. I love these needles. Okay, so that's whip number one. I actually have four whips running at the moment, which is why they're taking so slow. I'm not, I'm sort of jumping around from the one to the other. Which is better for me, actually, because otherwise I just get bored. This one, wait, let me just start showing you. This one is sleeping in this little project bag of mine that I also made. I just got this little cute little birdie. I've got another one that's bigger than this one. They are still for sale, by the way. I'm just using them until somebody wants them. Or I'll, knit, I'll sew up another one. I've got quite, I don't have enough um, project bags at the moment. Oh, okay. I nearly had a little bit of a hot palpitation. <laughs> okay. So this is the other one I'm busy with. This is how far I am with this. This is just the liner shawl. The pattern is available free on Ravelry. So is that one. This is how far it's come. So far. I'm working with a gold, uh, silver threads and golden needles colorway of my own. And then I've also got this one. This grey one. Called... Um, when grey skies turn to blue. So um, I started out, I did mention that before, but I'll tell you again. I started out the bottom part with some leftover colours of grace and um, went on to this side. And then I'll finish it off with this, which is a nice cool bluish grey, which I actually really like. Because the, the yellow is already really sort of hot, you know. I think that's going to look very really nice. And these, I am, am working on the set uh, of Chiago needles that I bought for myself. Just as a present for myself. And you can see it's a long cable. Um, and they've also got a nice tip to it. I like this, these tips. I like the... the I like strong needles and I like the lace tip. Please excuse my hands. I did start dying again last night. So I've actually still got yarn lying uh, in the dye pot that needs to be washed, which I will do as soon as the video is done. I'll tell you about the internet stuff later. Let me just finish all the basics. I know I've been moaning about the internet, but it's getting very bad. Okay, so this one. You can see if I have it like against my navy t-shirt. It's very much this type of color, you know. I actually like it a lot because it's got a like a... It's a gray, but it's a very blue gray. So, that's great. So, that's sleeping in this little baggie. Then I've got a one that I'm busy with most at the moment, really. I showed this to you guys on the Facebook page, but this is my, this is a color, non-color, colorway? <laughs> I don't know what to call this. See? Um, I actually had photos of that on Facebook it's one of those colors that I just started randomly dying and um, 
it's on this thicker yarn I love this yarn by the way that's one of the other bases that I'm working on at the moment and because it's got a looser twist I was really worried that it was gonna split on me like crazy and it doesn't it really doesn't anyway it's a nice soft thicker yarn it's ideal for winter stuff really I think so this is what I'm busy with I just got a cowl on it's also a, it's a snoot so it's a like a cowl with a hoodie because my ears get cold very really quickly in winter so I always have something over my ears um, and this is how it's looking so far just it's curling here at the bottom which will obviously change once it's been blocked but just to show you it's really an easy pattern I'm busy with the decreases now I'll add the pattern in the description box um, yeah it's just a cowl so this is how far I've come so far I love the way the yarn is working up um, okay all my other stuff you will see has was done with a long cable but this one you need a, about a 60 centimeter cable really no bigger than that you're gonna struggle if you have a bigger cable your cast on is 138 stitches but uh, you decrease here to form the hat part and if you have a longer cable you're gonna you're gonna suffer I am working on these uh, Symphony Knit Pro needles that I bought in Italy when my other stuff was stolen so that was all I could find other than Pony and I don't work with Pony as much as I don't work with Al so I found these and I have to be honest I really struggled with Knit Pro needles so far because of the tips the tips are not always really tapered I'll show you the other ones now and I'll, I'll explain that um, tapered enough for me but with the thicker yarn somehow this is fine I'm getting on I honestly think it's it's got to do your your choice of needles has to do with your tension and the yarn you're working with so those two things sort of are a combination because if you work I, I don't work very stiff but I don't work very loose either so the the tips the I don't know I like the taper tips more it just gives me a bit more um, well it gives me less of a chance of making mistakes for me that's my personal preference but in this case these work great I think, as I said, depends on what you, what you're knitting and also what you're knitting with. So this is how much I have left of this ball, this cake that I rolled it down in cakes. This is what I have left, and I've got still got one whole one. Should I, I should make it? I'm sincerely hoping that I have enough yarn. Okay, and last but well, okay, least in this whole thing this one is sleeping in my very very ugly project bag <laughs> sorry guys but this is really one of my least pretty ones um i had a lot of um petrix yarns left i rolled them up into balls like these for some reason I struggle to sell these which is fine um, to anybody who was still waiting and thinking whether you want to buy them or not I'm so sorry but they take a no because I am busy you are a bit too late I'm busy with a blanket that is if I can get all of these stuff out of here <laughs> ah, sorry <laughs> okay 
So this is just knitting bias. This is a bias blanket. I'll put the link up for that as well. That's how it's coming out so far. You just knit this like um, with two increases on the sides. It's a very simple pattern really. It's not difficult at all. But I've got all these different colors you see that I will incorporate and I'm just I'm knitting a blanket for myself. Um, I can show you. You actually start with three stitches. Three stitches, I think. And all, I'm knitting these on. Oh, this is what I want to show you. This is the Knit Pro Basics. Now, if you look at that tip, you'll see it's quite a blunt tip. And um, I find it very difficult to work on that. I find it difficult to work with that. But. On the thicker yarns, it's not actually so bad. And that's all I had, so I started working. Okay, so basically, let me just show you quickly. So it's just knit. Make one. And then you knit to the end. So that's your first row. It's just knit, make one, and knit to the end. And then, um, when you turn, you do knit one, make one, pull to the last three stitches, and knit the last three stitches. It's not difficult at all. So while I'm doing this, I'll start telling you about what I'm dying. Firstly, let me just remind you that I've got a lady that I supply to in Simon Sound. Bronwyn Firth is her name. Her shop's name is Knit Shop Love. She has the same type of setup that I have. Uh, basically, working her shop is at her house. So if I show you yarns and I tell you that it is at Knit Shop Love, and you are close in that vicinity just contact her I am going to try and die up I have another possible wholesale option coming up but I have always said I will stick to only two two wholesale uh, that that I supply wholesale to because otherwise I won't be able to supply to my own to my own clients um, but that will that's still in the pipeline um, and hasn't happened yet okay so now you turn I knit it up all the way there so you, you just get back to this quickly and now you knit one make one and then you pull to the last three stitches and you knit them Anyway, as I was saying, I think if you're going to, if you if you are in Cape Town and close to Simon's Town, that's where you will find some of my yarns. You will also find it from me. If I have, I will show you what I have in stock now. And then I am going to dye up some that's specifically for my shop. As well I don't think I'll be sending them out um, let me put this on okay so you you pull this is your wrong side wrong side right side which makes it very easy and then you just pull to the last three stitches and you knit them and then when you've got the right length it's a lot like C2C crochet if you got the right length in this side uh, that you want then you just start decreasing that's how you make the blanket but mine's going to be I think bigger than a baby blanket because I've got quite a lot of yarns here and I want to make it like a multicolored one anyway back to dyeing what I have in stock with me at the moment and please it's very limited amount I'm busy dyeing up stuff specifically for my sock for my um shop I have got two of these available right now 
I have this one, one of these that I haven't tied it up at all and I will, I promise. <laughs> but you can see, okay, so this one's name is, it's based on a very, very old song um, called White Sports Coat and a Pink Carnation. If you don't know the song, just go look it up on YouTube, you'll find it. White sports coat and a pink carnation. It's about this guy that's been dropped at prom by his prom date. It's very funny anyway, but sad and funny. That's this one. This one is called Katpos in Kambrua. If any of you are English speaking to the point of not understanding Afrikaans at all, Katpos in Kambrua is based on an old Kuni de Villiers song called As It Rien in the Klein Karoo. For me, that's really an amazing song because I am a Karoo baby. <laughs> but also, I think after this drought has now passed, which I truly believe it has, and after we started receiving rain in the Karoo areas that have been so dry, there's a new... Um, appreciation for water. I grew up in a setup where we had to be careful with, or I was taught to be careful with water, to respect water, but I think in city life it has become a point of you can just open a tap and there will be water. So yeah, I got to sit in a klein karua, and it's raining, so praise God for that. Okay, here I have this one, just, I don't know, it made me think of my dad. He loved the sea. My dad grew up in the Karoo, but he loved the sea. And uh, there's a song written by Mike and the Mechanics, it's also a very old song, called um, In the Living Years, and I... I always get so sad when I listen to it because we it really is a song where it speaks about how we don't discuss things we don't see eye to eye but we don't just get to the point of saying it's okay I love you anyway in the living years and um, I'm thankful to be able to say that that was stuff my dad and I were able to sort out, really, while he was still alive. And But there was a long time when it wasn't like that. So, anyway, this one is called, and it looks terrible. I know it's not all neat and tidy. I will tidy them up, I promise. It's like the last two that hasn't been done. Uh, this one is called... Uh, now I have to get to the name again. Scarborough Fair. <laughs> uh, that's just one of those old songs. I love them. I love those old stuff. They just don't write them like that anymore. I don't know. And um, yeah, it's an old Celtic song, really, that was like sung in so many different ways. Sometimes it's a man singing it to a woman, sometimes it's a woman singing it to a man. But either way, it comes to the point where um, are you going to Scarborough Fair, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Time? And then the rest of the lyrics are Remember me to one who lives there. He once was a true love of mine. And then it says, tell him to make me. It basically knits, knit me something. <laughs> like a shirt. Uh, with no, see, no seams. Yeah, make me some, make me a, I don't know. I'll put up the link for the song. It's a beautiful old song. Anyway, so that's it. And these are, these are actually available from me. And I've got these two 50 grams that are just, I don't have a name for them yet. I have these two 50 grams. So these lot are available in my shop. 
these are we just think this through quickly 60 rand each 50 grams 120 for a hundred gram the uh, lace suede ones these ones I'll tell you more about that now I've got these two sample pieces that I'm going to roll down and just make something out of them I dyed them both in a blue and I love the blue so that's fine this is the lace weight one I think I did put that up in a video that I added but anyway this is the lace weight one uh, that one has approximately 375 to 380 meters in it and it's it's really I mean if you hear a single bass you immediately go mm, I'm not sure I want to do that but these knit up wonderfully they're so soft and so easy to work with and then of course I've got this one which is a four ply and it's thicker so it has less meters in it it's got uh, 230 meters approximately in it but now I have to tell you this I finished one pair of socks but now these the shorter socks with 330 meters so i'm gonna check how far i get with one of these with a pair of socks oh, and i still had 50 grams left that's what i wanted to say i still had 50 grams left so i wanted to see how far i get with these i'm thinking i'll probably finish a pair of socks with them with 100 grams so this is not available this is good so now i'm finished with work stuff let me tell you about my current situation as far as the internet goes. I've been moaning and coroning and complaining about this for ages. I'm taking a huge chance right now. So um, I'm just hoping it's going to work. I'm going to use my phone as a hotspot. I need to see how much um, data it takes from my phone. Because honestly, I have this little... Vodacom modem thingy and 10 days 10 days into the month 10 days I have 30 gig on that thing so 10 days into it and it's gone and that's not normal I, I don't use that much data and uh, so I'm gonna use that now to check it out see how it goes and hopefully this video goes through. I'm sincerely hoping so. Anyway, I am now at a whole 28 minutes. I'm going to love you and leave you. I've got a package to post. Simon's Town, there's a yarn going to Simon's Town this weekend. The others that I had all died up are at a market with one of my clients she took it with her uh, thank you for that Sita and she is taking it with her selling whatever she wants to sell can sell the rest is coming either coming back or going to the other wholesaler and that's still a bit iffy I'm dying up some new colors today or I did start last night they still have to dry though I'll show them as soon and they will be for my shop that will be for my shop I I'm keeping most of them for the shop. Most of them. Can't even promise all of them, but most of them I'll be keeping for the shop. I should be getting my scale again later today, hopefully. And I'll be rolling down some new yarns. I've got some different weights that I got a sample. So I will be rolling them down and selling them in the shop. Also, mostly at a discount price because they are samples. So I will probably be selling them at about, say, uh, <clears throat> 95 or 100 rand each. I'll give or take. But I'll tell you about that when I get there again. I am now going to try and upload this video. As soon as it's uploaded, I'll put everything in the description box that I promised, the patterns and so on. So you guys have a great week. Well, weekend, it's nearly weekend. Um, 
and I hope you can watch this YouTube video. Talk to you guys again. Bye.